um, Mika's feelings about her position in Niji Sanji. And she's the last one from ID. Now I'm dead. So this is the last stream I'll ever do. But I will be honest, right? First of all, it ain't my fault that my friends are relevant as shit. Second mm. of all, I did not complain. And you would not mm. too. Mm. If you had famous friends, quote unquote famous friends, or like popular friends. It's about to be and real. when you're this hanging out with them and video. having fun, this is about you to be get a real more video. benefits. That, this Who's gonna fucking complain? I ain't gonna complain. Thank you, Zen. She about to say I some am, real shit. I am relevant where it matters. Smiley mm. face. Wow. But yeah, first of all, I did not complain. Uh, second of all, why would you? Second of all, chat. Like, like who, whose fault is it that they're famous and like you're also friends with it? Whose fault is that? Like, uh, I was in this branch that was nerfed shit. Like, I'm gonna be very honest. I she did about not to say get some real it. shit. No one promotes me. I did not get any marketing. I did not get any opportunities, right? So during that time, I was a newbie. I was I was in this company for like what, eight months, six months. So I haven't been working in this company for like a year, and I did not have a lot of experience. Uh. And the only thing I have experienced is collabing. <laughs> you know what happened, right? Wait, what happened? So in my head, wait, I was collabing? Like, Listen, chat. I need to get myself out there. I need to show the people that I work with that I like I can be trusted with responsibilities. Blah 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 blah. Like, you know, trying to get your name out I there. You're trying to, to get able, up in the ranks. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. To be able to be noticed too, mm. because you do not know how hard. That's it is. the when job. You, when you are an indie, it is hard. It is way more difficult. When you join a company you're going to get like the initial growth and it's so much mm. easier quote unquote mm. to grow yeah. it, it to gets your it gets your foot in the door the i will admit that it gets eyes on but you but when you're an indie right chat small indies are like seen to be like what is it diamond in the rust stuff like that diamond but when in the you're rust in a company especially during diamond that in time, the rough like, girl everyone was blowing up everyone was talking about niji sanji niji sanji i felt the pressure to have to like upkeep with that like i have to keep up with this with this pace that they're setting you know cuz it is so clear what they want for me and they want me to be big good just as good or make or whatever yes so i yes a lot of fucking pressure because i was there i was like new not only was i inexperienced i was new i don't know what to do and i just decided to do my best right what do i need this is how my brain worked i'm gonna explain myself I need to be promoted. I need to get my name out there. I need exposure. So, uh -huh. collaborations were the most obvious reason. And it, it is for a good reason. It is. The it, that, solution. Yes. So, that's what I did. Yes. And a lot of people aren't going to like that. A lot of people be like, oh, you could have did it on your own. Oh, you used your friends. All oh, this and that. People are going to spin this message in so many different ways. But let's keep it a buck. She's hired by a big ass company. A lot of people in this big company are doing big numbers. If you're not doing big numbers, what happens? You get cut. That's how it works. So what does she do? She makes friends with other people. And yeah, you, you could look at that and be like, wow, she used them for clout. But the thing is, they're all in the same company. This is different from if somebody was like knocking on somebody else's door, like, hey, can we be friends? Versus somebody that lives in the same house and you knock on their door like, hey, you want to hang out? That like they live in the same house when they're in the same company. So I see absolutely no issue with it. If we work together and it's like, hey, you want you want to do a collab? Why not? We already we're already on the same team. They're on the same team. I see no issue with Mika knocking on, hey, Luca, hey, mister, hey, you want to hang out like this and that. I see no issue with it, but other people are going to see that and they're going to be like, she's weak. She didn't try hard enough. She didn't deserve it. They're going to say everything to throw Mika under the bus. And girl, fuck that. You do what you have to do to fucking survive. And yeah, actually become friends with them at, at, at the same time. Don't just use them for clout. Like when she was talking to Mista uh, during that, like the last stream and they were talking about like, yeah, Mista, I thought you were playing dumb or, and then Mista said, yeah, the first message you sent me was, um, uh, I want to use you for clout or some shit. I'm paraphrasing. I don't remember exactly what he said, but he was like, yeah, you said that. And she was like, no, I didn't. He's like, yeah, you did. And he's okay with it. And that's some real shit. If she wants to, you know, try and get friends with people in the same company, I see no issue with it. 
personally. Yeah. So, I don't think I'm use. I never told him like, oh yeah, I'm gonna use you for clout. I did say that as a joke. But like, all good jokes contain true shit. So yeah, she might not like. Oh, I'm gonna use you for clout and then throw you away. That's normally what people think if someone says I'm gonna use you for clout. What maybe I, I I don't know, Mika. I don't know. But what I would say is she used them to help get her name up for clout. But they're actually friends. So I I don't like yeah, they're actually friends. Yeah, she used them for clout, but they're actually friends. Everybody uses people. People use people all the fucking time. Like this, and using other people doesn't even make you a bad person. Okay, if somebody has something that you don't and you're trying to grow, especially like a company or a brand, yeah, you would reach out to people. I don't know how to make great thumbnails. What did I do? I said, hey, I need someone to make me some thumbnails. Tori came along. Tori makes amazing fucking thumbnails. Am I using Tori to grow my brand? Yes. But at the same time, like I wasn't paying Tori at first, but now I am paying Tori. So like you could say like, oh, well, now you're paying her. Now it's okay. But Tori... The reason why she was okay with doing thumbnails for me is because she got to like show off her art, show off her expertise. And Tori's thumbnails have gotten way better from the first thumbnail she sent me to the latest one. You can tell that she has improved in her thumbnail game. She's experimented. She's tried new things. I say, hey, try this instead. She does it. It looks good. And she's evolving. So, yeah, she's she's using me to get better at thumbnails. I'm using her for thumbnails. We're both using each other, but it's beneficial. You can use people and it benefits everybody. It's not always just a, a parasocial or parasite type of thing. Damn, bitch. I might use you for clout as a joke, but I did milk the shit out of that duo just because I was like, okay, man. Because you might not get your next shot. A ton of views. I don't, I'm not saying like I need 10K viewers or 1 million subscribers. I don't need that. I just wanted to be noticed. Like... So it's not even about the numbers, Internally, it's about the respect, I guess. Oh, Internally, for the company. I just wanted yeah, yeah. to be noticed. So you don't I get cut, be, yeah. I wanted to be given the same amount of opportunities. Because when you yes. shit like Yeah, this, 100, you on top of that, yeah, you're totally right, Mika. Because if you're in a big-ass company and your numbers aren't as big as the next person, who do you think they're going to give the first opportunity to do some crazy shit with? They're going to give it to the big person. I guarantee you, they offered all these other bigger people in Niji Sanji the opportunity to go to these conventions before they will offer somebody smaller. Like, I'm not going to say any names because I don't want nobody to feel any type of way about it. If somebody with a bigger number is in the same company and you're a boss, who are you going to send out to represent your company? Does someone with a bigger number or someone with a smaller number? Let's just keep it a buck. It is what it is. And it's real shit. And that's what happens when you work for a company. There's pros and cons to working at a company and there's pros and cons of being indie. And it's what do you think is more beneficial for you to get your foot in the door? Maybe you go to a company for a year or two, then leave and then do your own thing. And look, you already have a fan base just by being known as the person that was in this group, which is understandable. I mean, the group got big. You join the group. OK, you like it's a stepping stone. It's life. The same amount of opportunities, because when you sign up for shit like this, that's what you expect. You expect to get stuff like that. So I thought I was just not big enough. So I was on that grind mm -hmm. and all my friends knew Mr. No, mm -hmm. but he decided not to fucking talk about that, did he? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. How, how convenient, this son of a bitch. <laughs> but that's okay. He's about to graduate. I'll give him that. Fuck it. Whatever. Yeah, Miss, but bro, low key, Mr. has been on that I don't give a fuck attitude, bro. He was the same way when I was about to get out the military. I was like, man, I don't give a fuck. All right, you want me to do that? All right, whatever. I don't care. You didn't have it. I mean, I don't give a fuck. I'm leaving, bro. Like, yeah, Mr. has been on that. He's been saying a whole bunch of crazy shit. Look, like, nothing severe, but Mr. has been saying some shit that's like, bro, damn, bro, you lucky you leaving because a lot of people will probably be upset about this fucking, like, the shit you're saying right now. <laughs> but it is what it is, man. He's off to do some other shit. Hey, pieces. New. I did he not put in his like, two-week notice. He's out. Like I decided to talk to him one day, and I'm like, oh, by the way, buddy, do you know? I'm just gonna use you for clout. Lamau. That That is not the conversation. The conversation literally went, it's, it was me venting about a lot of stuff, me talking about my fear, my anxiety, it's like the strong feeling that you're not good enough because there is something to compare yourself with, right?
Bro, I, bro, I, I said this shit. I've already said this shit. When Nina was graduating, I was like, I, she might not be graduating because of this. But when you look at your peers, it might make you feel a certain type of way. I said this shit. And here is somebody literally saying the exact same thing. It's it's not hard. It, it It's real easy to be like, oh, man, look at my subscribe number. Look at there. It, it's so easy. It will fuck with your head. I'm telling you. Hey, it's real name, shit. You can compare yourself to bigger indies. But, but it's not there's no expect there's no expectation when you're an indie with these people yeah you share the same internal shit yep you will compare yourself yeah be real i compared myself so hard i was like oh god where am i doing wrong maybe i just don't deserve this but i will prove myself like it was a lot of that going and you do deserve it mika because at the end of the day you were still hired you might not have been hired for the same reason because you were an id right so the id is grow the indonesian brand right the company for I uh, like the, the the reason why they hire ID versus why they hire EN or JP is all different and it's all to grow a specific audience, right? ID got yanked into JP, uh, India got yoinked into JP because maybe they felt that they weren't getting the numbers that they fucking wanted. Uh, who knows? Who knows what Niji Sanji likes to do in the CEO? Who who fucking knows, right? But it's. Honestly, I forgot what the fuck I was talking about. Maybe I just don't deserve this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you deserve it? You do deserve it, honestly. Like, because you still got the job. Even though, like, maybe the hiring process wasn't as um, strict. Because I, I would assume EN, like, they're, they're going to be more strict on who they hire because there's so many people that want to join and versus ID and, like, the market potential. The market potential for EN and ID is not the same. I mean, you could just see that in analytics on Google.com. When Google serves a McDonald's ad in, in Indonesia, it's not going to be the same if they serve the McDonald's ad in America. Like, you could just look at the numbers. Like, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Let's just keep it a buck, call it spade to spade. Like, they would hire you quicker than if they hired you if you were to, to um, ask for EN. But at the end of the day, you still got fucking hired. You still got picked out of other people that signed up to be an ID. You still got picked. So obviously you still you still got the job out of all the people that signed up. You and your other buddies got the job. So I would say that like you still earned the job. And like when Nina was upset, like, oh, maybe I don't deserve this. Other people could be in this position and forget about that. You got the job. You fucking deserve it. Prove myself like it was a lot of that going on. Uh -huh. And then I was talking to like. A bunch of not a bunch but it was like mista and like some other friends and mista's like yeah i mean you're growing blah blah blah, blah. like you're growing you're going on the right track mika and i'm like yeah because of you guys like i'm i'm going to the right track because of you guys damn and and that's the hard part because it's half true like yeah you're growing because of other people but at the same time they still like you. If they did not like you, they wouldn't collab with you. Like, sure, maybe the first time you ask, sure. But after that, they still say, yeah, let's have Mika around. Let's have collab with Mika because they like you. So it's not even all, yeah, you're growing so fast because of uh, the collab with Mista. It's because other people see you and they like you. They see, oh, who is this person that that we that they brought in? Oh, they brought in Mika. Wow, she's so funny. Blah 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 blah. Okay, I'm gonna go check Mika out on her stream. That's literally how collab works. Like, don't even beat yourself up about it because you knew what you were doing. You were trying to get the collab so you could get eyes on you. You got the eyes on you, and just retain it. And people like you for you. Cause of you guys, like, I'm I'm going to the right track because of you guys. Damn, I'm just gonna milk you for clout, Lamau, is what I said. As a joke. As a fucking joke. And, and then jokes contain that true shit. Yeah. And then he decided to frame it word for word on stream. And then it looks and, like yeah, and then there's no context in it. So it just looks bad. There's no context for it. Really bad. So in my defense, he wasn't lying, but he Fries, did not say it in dollars. a way that's nice or this honest music, either. Dislike. Well, I mean, he said it, he said it how it came out and it's all about context and the context that you're presenting is like, yeah, you, you said it, but it was just for fun. But 
Who knows what anybody's true intentions are? Maybe Mika really is secretly evil and she's a demon and she wants to clout chase and blah, blah, blah. Maybe, but we don't know. All we can go off is face value and what we've seen. And if everybody else in EN that she's collaborated with is saying Mika is a nice person, who am I or you or anybody else to say like, no, Mika is a clout chasing demon and she doesn't deserve anything. Like they're, that, like the people that are closest to her know her better than any of us. So I'm going to go out and hedge my bets on Mika is a great person. And yeah, she was doing what she was doing to survive. I mean, look around at ID. Mika's still here. So obviously collabing was a smart idea. And uh, I mean, smart, I mean, collabing is just smart in general. As long as you're having fun with the person you're collabing with, there should be no issues with it. Anyway, that's just my opinion on it. Yeah, this is a five minute video and I already knew I was going to make it longer than five minutes because this is definitely a deep topic and I love to talk about it and I love to get into it. And, you know, I hope Mika, I hope Mika's doing fine, honestly. Like this is definitely some internal struggle to come out and say this shit. Um, and then like what Mista said, it is like, damn, now this is out in the open, but it's not nothing bad. It's just the context. There was no context for it. So people took it and they span in it, spun it and ran around the block with it and shit like that. But I don't think Mika's a bad person, man. But, you know, keep your head up, kid. Stop, stop, stop moping around, man. You're doing a great job. Anyway, see you guys on the next one. Peace. Bow, 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 bow.